Hey, the other day I was listening to this interview with Raul Paul, who is the CEO and co-founder of Real Vision. During this interview, he mentioned his framework for achieving success, which is composed of knowledge times tools times network equals success. And I think that this is very important because what he's telling you here is that if you're knowledgeable, if you understand what you want to achieve, you understand your industry, you are in a better position to make decisions to understand what your plans are going to be. If you had the correct tools, the correct products, the correct solutions to implement those plans and to transfer that knowledge into actual actions, you are even in a better position. And if on top of this, you add a good network that is going to help you and allow you to expand your message and expand what you're trying to achieve, then you're going to be in an even better position to achieve success. Hey, my name is Juan. I'm a product leader working in tech companies for over 20 years now, and I love to talk about creating tech products and businesses around them. If you're interested in this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. During this video, I found this really interesting as a framework. I think that it is quite key what he's mentioning here because many times as product people, we concentrate on the tools part of the framework, on the, you, our customers need our tool to be successful. But the reality is that our tool is just a tool and it depends on the person that is on the other side, on the receiving end and their own framework, their own knowledge, tools and network to actually be able to achieve that success. And our product is only part of that framework. So how can you help your customers build that framework? I think that that's the question that you have to make and to do to yourselves. And this is something that some companies have done really, really, really well. Some companies, they just don't provide products for you. They also help you gain that knowledge. They also even sometimes help you to get that network, that connection that is going to help you succeed or help your customers succeed in their own businesses. And this is what you want to be. You want to be the company that is not just solving one problem for the company, although you might be solving in a way one problem, but that problem in itself is your product is just a tool for that problem. You have to help that knowledge that the company maybe lacks and that connection that the company also maybe lacks. And especially when you think about connection, that might be sometimes a little bit more challenging to achieve, although communities, online communities is a way to help companies. But the part of knowledge is something that you can help them. Many companies, sometimes they don't have maybe enough knowledge of their industry, or maybe they have been doing things in a certain way and they have not adopted or they have not adopted the latest ways of working. You as a product company can help them achieve that knowledge. I've seen this successfully done through YouTube channels. For example, that one that comes to my mind is Slidebeam. It's a company that initially started providing a presentation tool for startups to generate their own pitch decks. The business evolve and nowadays I think they do services and they help actually build that startup pitch deck for their customers. But also they have a YouTube channel where they talk about the challenges of being a startup and being a co-founder and starting your own business. This is great because they are not solving only the tool problem of sell selling you a product that solves your problem to create that pitch deck to get your investment, but also they are helping the companies to actually understand what is the startup world, understand how to get finance, understand how to talk with VCs, understand many different topics and areas that a startup co-founder has to know. And many times the startup co-founders is a very lonely job, it's a work that needs a ton of connections. It's a work that needs a ton of knowledge in many different areas. And what they are doing with their own YouTube channel is that they are trying to help those startup founders to actually get the knowledge. This is key. And this is something that you should consider when you are thinking about your products. This is also why it's very important to build a customer journey that is going to define the interactions of your customer and the problems that they have and understand how you can help them move forward 
in their journey, and not just in their journey to be your customer, but in their journey to be successful. Finally, there's the network one, and I think that the network one is also a key uh, component. If you don't have a correct network, people getting knowledge of your product is going to be difficult. You, as a product company, solving this problem for another company sometimes might be challenging, in some other cases might be easier. So you might be able to connect those people, for example, in the case of this slide beam, and I don't know if they are doing this, but they could have community where they actually help those customers, their own co-founders or the co-founders of different startups to connect with each other, to actually discuss, to gain knowledge with each other, from each other. An online community is something that you can facilitate within your company to build this portal that helps your potential customers to talk with each other, to engage with each other, to learn and get knowledge from each other. And I would take it even a step further. If you think about how you work, how what you do as a product company, you also have to work in a very similar way. You can in use this framework internally to actually develop your processes because you need knowledge. You need to understand your customers. You need to understand new technologies, new solutions that are going to help you implement those products for your customers. This might be things like, I don't know, Kubernetes, not the latest thing. I know in technology, but maybe it's something like uh, blockchain, for example. Anyways, whatever technology is going to help you to support and to solve the problems that your customers have, but also knowledge related to understanding your customers' needs, your customers' problems, your customer business, and not just the problem that you are trying to solve, but that whole chain that they also have their own problem. How you can understand that better and how you can actually try to help solve different parts of that framework, of that puzzle that is going to give a more comprehensive solution for your customers that are going to help you to achieve success. Finally, I will probably keep the network warm, but if you think from the point of view of you as working company that is developing products, I might change it towards team instead of network. Network is still great because you can get uh, those contacts outside your company that are going to help you, help you build in the knowledge, but also it's very important that you have a very strong team that is actually going to be able to deliver, that is going to help you to actually achieve success. So what do you think of this framework? Let me know in the comments below. I think that from my point of view, it's actually a great framework to help you plan, to help you understand, to help you be able to be more strategic when you're building products for your customers, where you just don't concentrate on building that product that solves a very specific problem, but you're trying to understand your customers much better and trying to build very comprehensive solutions that really are going to solve their needs. And also, they are going to help those customers be successful because that's the only reason why a potential customer is going to purchase your product. If you like this video, please give it a like and share how you actually are helping your customers achieve success with us in the comments below. If you found this topic interesting, I think that you should go and check out this video about customer journey that is going to tell you how to help the journey that those customers have with you and how you achieve them to be successful companies and loyal customers for you. I will see you in the next one. And remember, stay safe.